Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you the six no-code tools that I use to launch my business in just one weekend. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I decided to do when launching my business this weekend was I needed to build a website. I needed a homepage, a landing page that could showcase the services that I was gonna start offering to people. In my case, I needed to build a website to show off the membership consulting services that I'm gonna start offering people uh, around the world. So I decided to use the first no-code tool that I'm gonna talk about today, which is a tool called Webflow. Now Webflow, I think, is the best website builder currently on the market anywhere around the world. I absolutely, absolutely love Webflow. And that's because, whereas with like website builders like Squarespace and Wix and WordPress and all those other website builders, I think it's really hard to actually like build your website and customize it as you need without knowing how to code. So like you're kind of reliant on on using templates and whatever that template allows you to do you can kind of do but anything else outside of that template or outside of those predefined edits that you can make you have to know how to code in order to make changes to your website now I have no idea how to code and that's why I love a webflow so much because you almost code visually on the page in front of you so you can see all these different like HTML elements and CSS elements and classes right on the page in front of you. And so it's super easy to like change the color of a button or change the font or add a picture or add a brand new section or add these kind of cool little tabs or add animation. So it's super easy to build websites, super, super customizable, which is what I prefer because I'm kind of a perfectionist and I want my website to reflect my brand and reflect me the most accurately. And so I think Webflow is the best tool for actually being able to do this. Now, another really cool thing about Webflow is they have an entire template library. So if you're trying to launch a business super quickly, like I was this past weekend, well, they've got all these kind of really cheap or free templates that you can use to get going and get off the ground. So in my case, I bought a cheap $29 website template and I just kind of launched it right into my Webflow canvas. And so I kind of had the bones of what my future business's website was gonna look like I just needed to fill in some of the details. I needed to add copy and come up with a logo and come up with a brand that I could kind of format and populate my website template with. So that leads me to the second no-code tool that I used this past weekend, which is OpenAI or ChatGPT. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is at this point, I don't know what to say to you, but you probably live under a rock. But I used ChatGPT for three main things this past weekend. The first is, I used ChatGPT to come up with a name for my company. So I knew I wanted to use the word member in my name somehow, but I didn't really know how to do it. And so I relied on ChatGPT to help me out. So I literally just asked it. I said, hey, I need a tech company name with the base of member. Can you help me out? And it started spitting out different names for me. Member Grid, Member Bridge, Member Quest, all this good stuff. And so I kind of just gave it some direction. I said, I kind of like that. Give me something more like that. And it just iterated for me over and over and over for like five, 10 minutes until I came to one that I really liked, which is the name of my company now. And that is Memberify. And that one just kind of popped out to me. I was like, oh, Memberify. I can go with that. I can make that work. And so the second thing I needed was I needed a business logo. I'm not a graphic designer. I don't have a creative bone in my body. And I didn't want to go on Upwork or Fiverr and pay 50, 100 bucks to come up with a decent looking logo. So I said, let me just use ChatGPT. Maybe it can come up with something good. And so I said, I said, hey, I'm going to name my company Memberify. Can you come up with a logo for me, please? And sure enough, it started spitting stuff out for me. And so I refined it and iterated. And so I said, hey, can you make it more simple, minimalistic? Can you make it red? And it started spitting stuff out for me. And I worked with it and I wrestled with it until it gave me a logo that I really liked. I said, huh, I can build a brand around this. And so that's kind of what I use as the basis for my brand. This is just the M of Memberify now. And you can see that's the logo that I currently use on my website. Um, so ChatGPT saved me time and money in both of those realms. Now, the third thing that I use ChatGPT for, and this is probably the thing that saved me the most time this weekend. This is the thing that made me really realize that ChatGPT is just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful tool. And that is I use ChatGPT to actually come up with the copy for my entire website. So I had this template, but I needed like words. I needed, I needed stuff to say on the website. And I didn't want to use my own brain to write all this stuff when ChatGPT could just do it for me in two seconds. And so I just told it, I said, hey, I'm launching a company called Memberify. We're going to provide membership consulting 
uh, to clients to help build out their membership sites in Webflow by using MemberStack. I need some copy for the front page. Can you help me out? And so, boom, it just starts popping out all these different options. Em empowering your membership vision, transforming ideas into membership communities, blah, 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 blah. And I really liked this one right here. Unlock the power of membership. And so that's kind of what I have here, anchoring the, the landing page or the front page of my website. Unlock the power of membership. And so scrolling down, I needed some reasons why customers choose Memberify. Why do they choose me? And so I turned to ChatGPT and said, hey, can you give me three reasons with a little bit of text that I could use to fill in these squares here of my Webflow template? And sure enough, it spits it out. And so I did that for the entire website, just all the way down to the bottom. Every word on here is ChatGPT <laughs> driven. Uh, you know, I made some changes here and there, but you know, all of these categories and all of these words is ChatGPT. This probably saved me, I'm not joking, it probably saved me a day, maybe longer, because coming up with all of this, making it sound professional, but also fun, would have taken me days. So ChatGPT saved me so much time here, and maybe some money if I decided to use like a professional copywriter. Um, and so that is what I use ChatGPT for. It really did everything for me. Now the third no-code tool that I used to launch my business in just one weekend was a tool called Canva. Now, like I said earlier, I don't have a creative bone in my body. I'm a really, really bad when it comes to graphic design. I'm more left brain than right brain. But Canva is so great because even somebody like me can make stuff that looks halfway decent. At least I think. Be nice if you don't think it looks good, but I think it looks at least somewhat professional and decent. And so I had this logo that ChatGPT had spit out for me, but I wanted to customize it a little bit. I needed a couple different variations on this logo. Um, and so what I did was I used Canva to kind of come up with all these different logos that I could use. Um, and so I just dropped that logo in right here to Canva onto my canvas. And then I could come in here and I could change the colors, for example, and see what kind of color scheme I wanted to go with. And so I decided on this blue. But then I said, hold up, I need a variation of this where the actual M and the circle is blue and the background is white. Just because on my website, my nav bar is going to be white. So I need a blue logo. Well, in Canva, it's super easy to do stuff like this. It takes just a couple like clicks of the button where now I can just kind of come in here and just change it to blue very simply and very quickly. And so boom, just like that, I know that's purple, but just like that, I had multiple variations of the logo that I could use all across my website. I also use Canva to like populate my website with like these fun little things. So like these like three little burst lines and this squiggly arrow. This is all coming from Canva's element library. And so you can kind of see like all these different things that you can use uh, when you export it out of Canva and you can drop it into your Webflow site. And so Canva, I really used to streamline and help me with a lot of the graphic design work that I needed to do in order to get my brand implemented onto my website in Webflow. So guys, at this point, it's only halfway through the weekend. I already have the name of my company done. I have a logo for my company done. I have a color scheme or a brand built out inside of Canva, and that's all done. I have a fully built out, customized website that can serve as the home base or the landing page where I can show off all the services that I'm gonna offer as a part of this business. This is looking really good. We're in good shape. I have three more tools for you to take your company to the next level in just one weekend, so let's get into it. The fourth no-code tool that I used to kind of get my company off the ground this past weekend is a tool called BotPress. Now, BotPress is my favorite tool to use when I want to build an AI chatbot to put live on my website that can interact with my website visitors. So now that I have my website built, I wanted to build an AI chatbot that can kind of live right here on top of my website and that could accomplish a couple different things for me. Firstly, I wanted to collect some contact information from these people that are visiting my website in case I wanted to email them later on as part of my CRM workflow. And so you can see here, the first thing my chatbot asked me is, hey, what's your name? So I could say, I don't know, my name is Nick. And then it'll ask me, well, what's your email? And so I could say, okay, well, my email is nick at yahoo.com. And boom, just like that, I have a name and an email that I can add to like a leads database that I could prospect through later on in my you know, business cycle. The second thing I wanted to do with my bot press chatbot is I wanted it to be able to answer questions for anybody that came to my website. So if they looked at my website and had questions, well, I wanted to be able to answer that for them. And so I can ask it any question I want. So for example, can you build a job board for me? 
And so what BotPress can do as part of its AI knowledge base is it can pull custom information that we feed into it in order to return accurate and relevant information for our website visitors. And so you can see that, perfect, this chatbot is pulling from a knowledge base that I've set up in BotPress and it can answer questions for my website visitors without them having to email me or call me, which is really, really nice, saves me a lot of time. Now, the third thing and the last thing I wanted my BotPress chatbot to do live on my website is I wanted it to be able to book calls for me. Um, and so if anybody came to my website and they were interested in using a service that I offer, I want them to be able to just book a call automatically. And so I built in as part of my chat flow here, this book call option where I can just kind of click this link and it'll launch up my Calendly calendar and I can just schedule a time um, just like this automatically and just book like a like an intro call whenever they want. And so if they hit schedule event, boom, they've booked an event with me without actually having to email me or call me or anything. And so this saves them a lot of time. It also saves me a lot of time. And so now, perfect, the meeting is booked. We're excited to work with you. I'm all good. And then that's that. And so really this chatbot is doing a lot of great work for me. Now, BotPress is kind of complex and difficult to learn. You can see this is kind of the workflow uh, that I've built out here. I won't go into a lot of details in this video on how to use it, but I've got a couple different BotPress videos that I will have linked up above right now in case you want to start building an AI chatbot like this one. I'll have a link down in the description below in case you want to sign up for BotPress. It's completely free starting off um, and I highly recommend it. So go down there and sign up with the link below. Okay, so that leads me to the last two tools that I use to launch my business in just one weekend. And those two tools are make.com and Airtable. Now, outside of Webflow, make.com is my favorite tool that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Essentially, what make.com does is it allows you to set up automations between the different apps that you run your business with. So you can connect your apps that you use together and automatically send data between those apps. So this weekend when I was launching my company, what I wanted to do was essentially send all this data that I'm capturing on my website via this contact form or via my AI chatbot, any contact or lead data I was capturing here on my website, I wanted to automatically send to my CRM, which in this case for me right now is gonna be Airtable. Now, if you've never used Airtable before, essentially it's just a souped up version of Excel that you could use for a whole bunch of different things. In this case, I'm gonna use it to serve as my CRM system in the early days of my company. So what I wanna do is all this information that I collect here on Webflow in my website, I wanna to send to Airtable or my CRM so that I could you know, prospect or manage my relationship with these clients or these leads however I want. And so in order to send that data between these two apps, I'm gonna go back to make.com and I'm gonna set up a scenario that essentially pulls the data from my, in this case, my AI chatbot and sends it to Airtable automatically by creating a new record. And so if I come back to my bot here on my website, anytime I collect a new name and email, in this case, Johnny and Johnny at yahoo.com, and I hit enter, well, make.com will grab that information from my bot by using this webhook, send it to Airtable to create a new record. So if I come to Airtable, you can see, boom, Johnny and Johnny at yahoo.com are now in my Airtable CRM as leads and I can kind of do whatever I want. I can run a marketing campaign based off that email or reach out to them manually, et cetera, et cetera. Now, similarly, I have another workflow set up in Make that takes my Webflow form submissions and also routes those to Airtable based on some conditional logic. And so if I come to this form here on my website in Webflow, and I type in my name and an email address, and I pick a reason that I'm reaching out, hey, I wanna build a membership site, and I hit submit, well, again, make.com is gonna grab that Webflow form submission and go create a record for me in Airtable. And I have that one in a table called Webflow Leads. And so boom, you can see I just popped up right here as a lead with all the pertinent information that I just submitted on that form. And so I'm gonna use make.com to basically connect all the different apps in my business, in this case, my website to my Airtable CRM. That way I can start emailing these leads and closing some deals and making some money. I'll have a link down in the description below for make.com in case you wanna sign up, it's completely free. I highly, highly recommend signing up for make. 
it is the most crucial tool that I use every single day. So guys, those are the six no code tools that I use to launch my business in just one weekend. We've never lived in a better time to launch businesses quickly with all of these free tools at our disposal. So if you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That would be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. I will have every one of these apps linked down below for you in case you want to sign up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.